Thank you for joining this presentation. I am Brooke Thackeray, Research Analyst with Horizons ETFs. I am a recognized authority on seasonal investment analysis. I have more than 20 years investment related experience and have authored 14 books on seasonal investing. I publish a widely read, read monthly newsletter and I'm also frequently quoted and interviewed in the news media, including as a reoccurring guest on BNM Bloomberg. You might have heard of the old investment maxims like Santa Claus rally or sell and and go away. These are classic examples of seasonal investing strat strategies. To put it simply, Seasonal investing is a strategy that uses decades of historical market data to invest in sectors during their periods of seasonal strength or weakness. The investment uh, strategy works because there's an underlying recurring seasonal tendency caused by different annual events affecting different parts of the market at different times of the year. Seasonal investing is applicable in many markets, including the broad markets, such as the S&P 500 index or the S&P TSX composite index. It is also applicable in different sectors of the stock market, such as commodities, bonds, and currencies. A foundational component of the seasonal investing strategy is based upon data that shows stock market performance on average is stronger in the favorable period that runs from late October to early May and weaker in the unfavorable season that runs from early May to late October. From late October to early May, a seasonal portfolio is substantially invested in equities with broad market positions used as a core position and the funds are allocated to different sectors of the market based upon seasonal opportunities. When different sectors finish their uh, seasonal period, funds are allocated back to the core broad market positions and the process continues during the favorable seasonal period for stocks. In the unfavorable seasonal period, from early May to late October, cash is used as a core position and funds are allocated to different sectors based upon seasonal trends and opportunities. And once again, as these sector opportunities finish their seasonal periods, funds are allocated back to cash with the process continuing for the six month unfavorable period for stocks. It's important to note that even in the unfavorable period, there are uh, equity opportunities on a seasonal basis. In a six month period of seasonal strength, the S&P 500 has historically produced larger gains and fewer losses than the other six months of the year. Over the long term, from 1950 to 2019, the S&P 500 has produced an average gain of 7.9% in the period from October 28th to May 5th, while it has produced an average loss of 0.2% during the unfavorable period. At the sector level, seasonal investing helps to determine average optimal entry and exit points based upon annual reoccurring trends. Different variables affect the price movement of a sector over time, but seasonal trends have a tendency to occur at the same time of the year. Gold is a good example. There are many factors that impact the price of gold, including inflation, real interest rates, confidence in central banks, geopolitical tensions, and US dollar strength. In addition, seasonal uh, trends have been an underlying influence on the price of gold over the long term. If we take a look at gold, it has two seasonal periods, one from December 27th to January 26th, and largely based upon the Chinese consumer demand coming into the Chinese New Year, and the other seasonal period from July 12th until October 9th, uh, based upon increased demand for gold jewelry in the fourth quarter of the year. Seasonal analysis uses algorithms to examine the different annual trends of gold, with every year being different to produce a composite annual seasonal trend. It also incorporates relative performance compared to the benchmark in order to establish optimal seasonal entry and exit points. Gold is just one of the many uh, seasonal sector trends. There are many other seasonal trends that investors uh, can potentially use to, to help them gain an edge in the markets. Investing in seasonal trends can be a co combined with many other in investment disciplines, including fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Novices, experts, short-term traders, long-term investors can potentially benefit by using seasonal investing. We offer plenty of resources for investors to learn about seasonal investing and to keep up with the latest seasonal trends and opportunities. Brooke Thackeray's annual investor's guide explains the foundation of seasonal investing and offers insights and opportunities for investors to take advantage of these trends across sectors and asset classes. Investors can also sign up for Brooks' uh, free monthly uh, newsletter at alphamountain.com, which helps to provide an update on seasonal trends and opportunities. In addition, Horizons ETFs posts a weekly update on the Horizons website. I'm showing the disclaimer uh, slide for uh, uh, legal reasons. 
Uh, I want to thank you very much for joining us today in the presentation and please feel uh, free to reach out if you have any more questions regarding seasonal investing or my strategies. Thank you very much.